welcoming all of you. Uh, it is my great pleasure uh, as representative of Moody's to welcome all of you, our honorable guests, uh, our distinguished speakers, and the honorable members of the press, to this uh, eighth joint event between Moody's Industrial Services and the uh, Federal Institute uh, for International Economics in uh, Washington, D.C. We are very honored to welcome you in our, uh, in our Frankfurt offices. I apologize on behalf of the German government for the ongoing construction that we have in front of the building. I do hope that this allied field that Germany doesn't invest enough in infrastructure. Now, uh, to give you a little uh, background in terms of this ongoing relationship that we have uh, with uh, the Brazilian Institute, and right here in front of me is my uh, traditional partner in crime, uh, Adam Posen, the president of the Brazilian Institute, an old friend. Uh, that's the eighth uh, joint event that we organize. Uh, we had our first joint event back in April 2013 in Washington, D.C. Uh, as part of our traditional events that precede the spring annual meetings of the International Monetary Fund and the World Bank uh, in Washington. Those joint events have quickly become one of the marking points of the uh, meeting season that uh, precedes those events uh, in D.C. As uh, I have said, this is the date of those uh, joint events. We have had the distinctive pleasure, uh, pleasure of holding events in four of the inhabited continents of planet Earth. Uh, we are still aiming to do all the seven as far as I know, right? We should imply certain logistic difficulties. And yeah, well, I agree with you on that. Uh, this is a relationship that is uh, unique among the uh, relationships that Moody's has with uh, external think tanks. We have a selected set of external relationships, and the one that we have with the Peterson is clearly the deepest and most mm -hmm. developed one. It has evolved in terms of uh, trust and confidence between the counterparts, and we look forward to the continuation of the, of the future of this uh, blossoming engagement between our parts. Uh, I think that I don't have to highlight to you that we have an extraordinary program during the course of today. We are going to be having here uh, two members of the uh, Governing Council of the European Central Bank among our speakers. Uh, one of those, the uh, head of one of the central banks uh, of the Euro area, uh, Governor Borman, he is sitting in front of me. Later we are going to have the uh, chief economist of the ECB delivering one of our uh, keynote speakers. Uh, we also have uh, one of the presidents of the Federal Reserve, President Rob Rosengrink, which is sitting here in front of me. We have also a former deputy governor of the Central Bank of England. We have also distinguished academics and practitioners among the speakers that we're going to have today. In no uh, way can we disguise that this is a remarkable set of speakers that we're going to have for you during the course of the morning and the afternoon. We are going to be discussing a series of extremely timely subjects, uh, given what we have just had in terms of decisions from the European Central Bank, related to the uh, actions of monetary policy on uh, a global scale. We are going to start with a short discussion about the uh, implications of monetary policy actions on global balances. Then we are going to have discussions about the monetary policy actions of the Federal Reserve and of the European Central Bank itself the availability of those tools from uh, monetary policy sectors around the planet. And we are going to finish with a discussion on the implications of monetary stability of this uh, relative disconnect of monetary policy instances between the Federal Reserve and central banks like the European Central Bank. This is a challenging but extremely timely and important set of subjects which we strongly believe are going to be relevant for all of you participants uh, on this event. I have to uh, convey to you uh, on a sudden note the apologies from uh, Sandrine Duchenne. Due to uh, death in her family, she unfortunately on a short notice is not going to be able to be joining us today. Our uh, prayers and thoughts go to Sandrine and the members of her family. 
uh, we were able to uh, assure the uh, participation on the panel of uh, Adam, who kindly agreed to take the place of Sandrine. In the process, unfortunately, to defeat in our feeble attempts at gender imbalance, but uh, we cannot have everything. Uh, I would like to make one small important announcement before we uh, all start, uh, which uh, is necessary due to legal requirements. We are going to be recording in audio and in uh, sound the proceedings of this event. Uh, members of the audience should be aware and agree that for this to be uh, happening. Not only we are going to be uh, doing this for later dissemination, uh, we are going to be posting this on the website of the British Song Institute as we have done with the previous uh, events of this partnership. But there are press on the room. So with one single exception, this is going to be a on-the-record event. Uh, we are also told that the uh, counterparts from Bloomberg are also recording the event itself. So this is going to be doubly recorded, if you will, by us and by Bloomberg. We live, unfortunately or fortunately, in a fully transparent world nowadays. 